Okay, we're back with the Think Tool Part 10 from OBD Zone. Uh, yes, they are, they have these uh, Think Pad, uh, Think Tool Part 10 tools as well as some other diagnostic tools and other um, care equipment. So you can check them out at www.obdzon.com and and see what they have all right. all right so let's go into diagnostics diagnosis and let's click on bmw also note which is a very useful feature they have in each care category uh they give you an outline of all the the uh, functions that you can do in each of um, the, the, the particular vehicle coverage. So you can see in BMW, you can um, read and clear DTCs. You got uh, coding, ECU coding, uh, and all special functions, key, delete, steering angle reset, all those good stuff, as well as uh, other things that pertains to the CAS, which is CAS system, deleting and resetting ELV, um, steering lock counter, which we all know um, is a huge problem with BMW. And <clears throat> also, this tool is a fully bi-directional uh, tool. Um, so, you can do actuation tests, um, throttle Valvetronic, um, all, all those, uh, the, uh, all those tests that you want to check to see if you have um, sensors that are malfunctioning or whatever have you. All right. So let's go into, and the Bluetooth is connected and it's loading. Uh, also to note, the Bluetooth has a pretty good range for, for those mechanics who have to walk around a lot in their shop. Um, there's a very good range on the Bluetooth. Uh, right now I'm using this on the car. It's about uh, several, uh, about at least 20 feet away. So, and it's still a strong signal. So, all right. Here's the menus. We have coding or programming, um, ADAS calibration, and your special functions. Uh, let's take a peek into special functions. And you can see it goes through all the modules that are in the vehicle and pretty quickly I might add. Let's go on to drive. Right. These are various tests that you can do. Um, also, here is a, a very useful one that comes in. I don't think most scan tools have this. The compression test. Um, so you don't have to search for a, a fuel relay to remove. You can just set this in the compression test mode and it automatically deactivates the, the fuel 
the fuel pump so you can do a compression test okay so let's go back out and let's go to automatic search Here's the vehicle information listed. And that's the correct vehicle. Let's hit next and see. As it goes through all the modules on the car, again. And here we have the topology screen, and which is very useful when you have CAN communication error and you would this use the information comes in useful in determining what lives on what can network and what modules are on those networks and what are functioning uh, as you can see there's normal abnormal scan not scan not equipped in different colors so and also at the top you can have your system list which is the common format that most scan tools list all of the modules because in the topology they are in abbreviated forms and um, so a lot of people may not know the abbreviated names you can use your system list and here is your coding or programming but let's do a smart scan and see what happens So these are the modules that came up um, and the red one indicates um, modules that have problems um, some of these may have been caused by low battery so let's just clear DTCs and see what comes back all right uh, let's go into the cars mode All right, um, let's go into coding. And um, here are the, all the different uh, modules that can be coded um, from the car. And we also have a menu called personalization. And again, these are the same where you can change personal settings on those modules. Another coding um, feature. And, and for all those coders wanting to know exactly what is the what is the assigned number of that module that you're coding? You can see it in the vehicle order where it lists all of those modules and the associated vehicle order number um, that you'll need if you're doing any selective coding. And offers retrofits. Any retrofits that you want to add into for the vehicle. 